hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well so dear friends we were discussing about higher order differential equation or ordinary differential equation of higher order right so in the previous video we had discussed about uh, the complementary function as i earlier told you uh, that this is the standard form of higher order differential equation f of d of y is equal to q of x so every equation is a solution so for finding solution of this uh, higher uh, sorry standard form of higher order differential equation so there are two uh, but, uh, sorry two uh, solutions uh, one is the not the solution actually we have to calculate two things over here one is the complementary function another one is the particular integral then that uh, complementary function and plus particular integral becomes your solution for the uh, standard form of uh, higher order differential equation right so in the previous video we had discussed about the complementary function now in this video we will discuss about the particular integral what is the met method of finding particular integral right so method to find particular integral pi which is given by pi is equal to 1 upon f of d q of x okay this is your uh, formula for the particular integral but uh, it depends upon the function what type of function will be there q of x uh, depending on the form of function q of x there are six different cases so this q of x will be different so only six possibilities are there uh, for this particular function that is q of x so let me write here the first case it is q of x is equal to e power ax if q of x is equal to e power ax right so in the in that particular case what you have to do you have to simply write down the particular integral is equal to 1 upon f of d e of a power x right so you are replacing this q of x by e power a x right so for that particular integral you have to take sorry put d is equal to a so in this case if you are having the function q of x is equal to e power a x in that case you have to put down d is equal to instead of d in this function you have to replace with that a but there is a condition provided provided that denominator should not equal to zero once you are replacing d with a but that uh, denominator should not be equal to zero then only you can replace d with a over there so this is the first case which you should remember now second case second case is if q of x is equal to sine of ax or cos of ax this function if it is sine of ax or cos of ax in that particular case you have to take particular integral is equal to 1 upon f of d sine of ax or cos of ax so this is the case over here if it is the function is sine of ax or cos of ax in that particular case you have to replace d with sorry d square with minus a square in this particular equation f of d you have to replace d square with minus a square over here so condition will be same denominator should not equal to should not equal to zero so denominator should not equal to zero then only you can replace d square is equal to minus a square okay you have to uh, do the rough cal calculations on the side so that you will get idea if a denominator is becoming zero then you cannot replace but in that cases if you are getting denominator is equal to zero you have to multiple uh, numerator with x and denominator you have to differentiate so later on once we solve the questions you will get the uh, clear image about uh, this particular topic over there right so next case is the third case that is q of x is equal to x raised power m so if this is the case suppose m can be 0 1 2 3 4 5 like that uh, sorry 1 2 3 4 5 so if it is x raised power 1 x raised power 2 x raised power 3 in that particular case you have to take particular integral is equal to 1 upon f of d uh, e power sorry this x raised power m this is your function as uh, formula is same 1, up, 1 upon f of d q of x so instead of q of x you are taking x raised power m in this particular case what you have to do take take l d t least degree term take right common from f of d in this f of d term you have to take least degree term common and then apply a binomial and use binomial expansion method binomial expansion method right so you have to remember this uh, until we solve the question so that you will get clear picture what does this binomial expansion method mean what is the formula for that uh, there are two cases uh, one is the one plus x raised power 
minus 1 and next one is the 1 minus x is power minus 1 right so simply 1 plus x inverse 1 minus x inverse are getting we are getting the, the binomial expansion then we have to expand that accordingly okay so these are the three cases where you have to remember these particular integrals uh, how we can calculate this particular integral in these cases over here okay now i will take another case fourth now so fourth case is if q of x is equal to e power e power a x v of x okay if this is the case q of x q of x is equal to e power a x v of x this v of x can be this one okay so this uh, v of x can be sin a x cos a x e power a x x raised power m so it depends upon okay later on we will uh, once we will solve the problems on it you will get the better idea okay how to solve these questions over here okay so for this uh, what is the particular integral equation so particular integral is same one upon f of d instead of q of x we are replacing uh, q of x with this one e power a x v of x over here right so this is your equation how to calculate now particular integral just take this e power a x exponential term out e power a x like this then one upon f of d plus a so instead of d you have to take d plus a term okay i hope you are getting this is just the formula we have to use it later on the problems over there okay so f of d plus a v v of x will remain same this is the particular integral for this uh, fourth case that is if function is e of a power x v of x then next case next case is fifth one fifth case is uh, that is q of x if it is equal to x raised sorry x into v uh, v into x x into v of x okay now particular integral is equal to for this case okay x minus f dash of d divided by f of d okay into one of f of d v of x if uh, x into v of x is the case then you have to write down x as it is minus differentiation of this one f of d uh, in sorry differentiation yes then f of d you have to divide okay then multiplied by as it is the usual function 1 upon f of d v of x this is the case uh, number 5 that is x into v of x over here okay so you should remember it so next one is sixth one that is uh, if q of x is equal to x raised power n v of x okay in this case uh, you have to remember my dear friends that this v of x can be only this one sine of ax or cos of ax only two cases are here we should remember here v of x can be here sine of ax or cos of ax right so i will take both cases here first one is the particular integral is equal to one of f of d x raised power n instead of v of x i have to take sine of ax and cos of ax so i will take side by side one upon f of d x raised power n cos of ax this is your possibility for this case over here okay now how to calculate particular integral for this as you may be aware of the formula from the complex numbers itself that e power so i will write it here on the side e power i theta is equal to cos of theta plus i sine of theta right so now i have to apply this one cos theta is the real part and this is imaginary part just because i is with the sin theta it is called as imaginary part cos of theta is the real part in this case okay so here it is theta so it is cos theta if it is i x so that is cos of uh, x over here okay if it is uh, instead of theta i am taking a x so i can write cos of a x i sin of a x like that okay so uh, see here now i can write particular integral is equal to 1 upon f of d x raised power n imaginary part of e power i a x imaginary part of e power i a x so instead of theta i am taking a x that is why i am writing here e power i a x okay so which is equal to i can write it as uh, imaginary part of 1 upon f of d e power i a x x raised power n okay so this becomes the formula then accordingly i can solve it as uh, e power a x into x raised power x raised power n 
we have to solve it accordingly then okay so this becomes your formula for the particular integral for this case sin ax case then for this case i can write 1 upon f of d x raised power n okay cos of ax is the real part so i can take a real part of e power i a x okay i hope you are getting it which is equal to i can write real part of 1 upon f of d e power i a x x raised power n okay so this becomes our formula for the particular integral for sixth case okay this is all about the cases of particular integral you have to just remember what we have to do with these particular integrals of these six cases then only you can solve the questions on this particular topic i hope this is clear to you people so in the next video we will try to solve the problems on this higher order differential equation where we have to where we are supposed to calculate the complementary function and particular integral okay so make sure you will share this video to all your friends so thanks for watching my video